everyone. This is Begonia with Simply Health. This morning, I decided to make pancakes for breakfast. Now, as a dietitian, I'm careful about what I feed myself and my kids. So knowing that pancakes are not necessarily the healthiest of foods, I had to figure out a simple way to make them healthy and not feel guilty about feeding them to my kids once a week. So today I'm preparing my pancakes and while I do that, I'm going to share with you what I do to make them healthier. The ingredients that I add will not compromise taste and will please the fussiest of palates. I know this because I have fussy palates to please at home and even they can't tell the difference. Let me show you how easy it is to turn your pancakes into a healthy breakfast that the whole family can enjoy. Let's get to it. I'd like to explain to you the nutritional reasons of why I add these ingredients. If you want to skip this part and go straight to cooking, go ahead and click on the next chapter. So one of the biggest issues with pancakes is that they are very high in carbohydrates. And not all carbohydrates are bad, but in this case, the carbs used to make pancakes lack fiber. Remember that fiber is a carbohydrate that you want to eat more of as most people don't even eat half of the fiber they need every day, including kids. Fiber is really important to decrease your family's risk of developing diabetes, lower heart disease risk, the risk of becoming overweight, and the risk of cancers of the digestive tract. Carbohydrates without fiber are like a ticking bomb waiting to make your blood sugar levels spike like crazy, and soon after that sugar rush is gone, comes that inevitable sugar crash. So my goal when making healthy pancakes is to increase the fiber intake to regulate your sugar levels. The second problem with pancakes is the toppings. If you know a little bit about me by now, you know that I'm not gonna sugarcoat the truth. Literally, I'm not. And I'll recommend that you don't add margarine or butter or whipped cream to your pancakes unless it's your birthday, then go ahead and treat yourself. It's okay to add real maple syrup, fresh fruit, whatever is in season, and tree nuts like almonds or walnuts. But for today, I'm starting with already made batter. I like this particular brand because it has few ingredients, I know what they are, it has no eggs or dairy, and you only have to add water. Whichever batter you use, go ahead and add the following ingredients in no particular order. Two grated medium-sized carrots. Use a grater with the thinnest holes so that those picky eaters can't find the carrot. This will add a little over four grams of fiber and 100% of the beta carotene that you need every day. Two tablespoons of flax seed meal. This will add another six grams of fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, iron, and magnesium, among others. Lastly, add two teaspoons of cinnamon. If you like the taste of cinnamon, go ahead and add more. I add cinnamon because it has been shown to help control blood sugar, which is what I'm trying to do by adding these ingredients and extra fiber. Just as a last note, these ratios are for one and a half cups of dry mix or 250 grams, or approximately the pancakes for two adults or one adult and two kids. And that's it. You have now turned your pancakes into a healthy meal you don't need to feel bad about. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Share it with others that enjoy pancakes, subscribe and like, and leave any comments or questions below. Come back next week so you don't miss out my video where I compare different pancake syrups. Thank you for spending this time with me. Until next time, cheers to your health.